Before we get into today's Titans video, a roster projection in between minicamp and before training camp, I have a request for you guys. We have a status update in terms of all of the shares across all the different chat sports channels, and Titans is dead last. Our Michigan channel has done like three videos all month, and they are even just blowing us out of the water, so it's a little bit embarrassing. So if you like today's show, do me a favor, share it to Facebook, Twitter, or text. That way, I can keep doing Titans videos and don't get relegated to something else altogether. We've got a way too early-ish roster projection for you guys on today's video, including some practice squad predictions. So 53 players in total. Yes, things will change, but it's a, a brief glimpse at where I think things stand when it comes to the Titans roster. First up is quarterback. This is super easy. It's Ryan Tannehill, Malik Willis, and I still think Logan Woodside. Tannehill and Willis are roster locks. Woodside, maybe not so much, but I think Willis is going to need more time. So I'll have Tennessee carrying three quarterbacks for the 2022 season. Got another question for you guys. Who would be your favorite team if the Titans and this channel did not exist? So if Tennessee wasn't a real football team, if they never got founded, who would be your favorite team? Let me know in the comments section. Let's talk running back now. Some roster locks. I think Derrick Henry's a lock. I think Dontrell Hilliard's a lock. And I think Hassan Hassan is a fourth-round pick. Knowing uh, that Dez Fitzpatrick didn't make the roster last year, I think he's also a lock. I believe Tennessee will carry a fullback, so Torrey Carter gets in here. And I will put Trenton Cannon on this list over guys like Jordan Wilkins and Julius Chestnut because I think Cannon will end up being the team's starting kick returner. He's held that role before, actually has experience, unlike a lot of the players on this uh, team. So five running backs, if you include the fullback for Tennessee, a little bit deeper at that spot, which will come into play later on in today's video. Of course, we all know King Henry is going to make this team. Duh. But is he the best player on the Titans? Or somebody else, a, a Taylor Lewan, a, a Jeffrey Simmons, a Kevin Byard potentially. Is Derrick Henry the best player on the Titans roster? If he is, type in Y for yes. If he's not, Type in N for no bonus points if you name the player who you think is better. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there, type in Y for yes or N for no. Over to receivers. I'll go six deep here. So the roster locks for sure. Robert Wood, Traylon Brooks, and probably Nick Westbrook, Akina as well. That leaves... Three, maybe four spots for a pretty deep group of players. I'm going to put Racy McMath on here because of special teams value. I'll put Kyle Phillips as a draft pick and I think the team starting punt returner. That leaves, I'm going to go with Josh Malone over guys like Cody Hollister, Reggie Roberson, even a, a Mason Kinsey, and over Des Fitzpatrick. I think that that last spot, guys like Malone and Fitzpatrick fighting for it, could come down to special teams. Neither guy helps that much in that area. But Malone is flashed so far. And we already know that Tennessee can get Dez to the practice squad. So, it, barring injury, you could have an interesting battle. of Josh Malone, the Tennessee kid. Dez Fitzpatrick, the Louisville kid. Of those two receivers, who would you rather have on your 53-man roster? I asked this a year ago. Unanimous Dez Fitzpatrick's. Now, a little bit murky. So pick one for me. I, th I think I'm going to go Malone, even though my prediction is what I think they'll do, not what I would do. I agree, and I'll go with Malone. But what do you think? JM for Josh Malone, DF for Dez Fitzpatrick. With Tennessee going deeper at running back and at, with a fullback, I've got them going only three deep at tight end. Austin Hooper's making this team. Jeff Swain's making this team. I think Chico Conquo is as well. Three good tight ends. So Tommy Hudson, Bradley Moore end up getting cut. Remember, We'll do practice squad stuff later on, so keep watching, and you might see one or two of those names pop up. Now, if you love the Tennessee Titans, I'm once again asking you to subscribe. We're trying to get to 4,000. We're getting blown out by all the other channels here at Chat Sports. We are 167 away. I can guarantee 
that at least 167 of you will watch this video and are not subscribed. We know what the data said that almost 70% of you watch but aren't subbed. You might even think you're subscribed, but you're not. So double check, make sure you're subscribed, hit the big red button, and join us for more free Titans videos. The offensive line is where I really struggled. I think there are seven locks. Taylor Lewan, left tackle. I'm going to go Jamarco Jones over Aaron Brewer at left guard for the starter position. Ben Jones makes it. Nate Davis makes it. Dylan Radens at right tackle over Nicholas petit Friere. Those seven are locks. Eighth, maybe ninth spot. I got no idea. I I'll go Daniel Munyer as an extra interior offensive lineman since Jamarco Jones can play almost every spot except for center in the event he doesn't win the starting job. But I almost went bold and put free agents on here because I think there's a real chance Tennessee adds an offense lineman to help out where I think they're a bit thin right now. I am worried about right tackle and left guard, and I know I'm not alone in that. So what is your confidence level in the offensive line? Scale it for me 1 to 100. 1 being you think these guys are bums, they're terrible. 100, Tom, it's the best offensive line in the NFL. If you type in 69, you're a man after my heart or a woman after my heart. Let's go to defense now. The defensive line interior, that 3-4 front, the 3-3, th three, right? The uh, defensive ends, nose guards, D-tackles. Danico Autry, Tyre Tart, Jeffrey Simmons... All locks. Tart probably close enough to count there. A lot of open holes beyond that. There's Kevin Strong who I didn't put on here. Jaden Peavy, Haskell Garrett. Demarcus Walker, I almost put on here. Instead, I went with Laurel uh, Murchison keeping that spot. Naquan Jones and Deshaun Hand. Walker is an under-the-radar addition by this team. He's played a lot, can do some inside and some outside stuff. A very versatile player and has kind of been more of a tweener in the NFL. Walker was the last player I cut from my list because I started with all you know 90-ish names and then cut down as I went. Walker was 54. He was the last player I ended up cutting. Over to Edge, outside linebacker. I This is pretty easy for me. Uh, Harold Landry, Bud Dupree, Rashad Weaver, and Ola Adeni. I, I cut Justin Lawler and David Anini. Anini, excuse me. There's not much depth there. My hope, though is that Rashad Weaver truly emerges as an edge piece. Fourth round pick in 2021, did nothing last year, two tackles. He needs to emerge as edge number three. Yes, you can use Autry in some packages as like a 4-3 a defensive end, but you want Weaver to properly emerge up front. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed, I am very confused because you've made it into about eight minutes of this video. Clearly, you like what we're doing. You're watching far more than the average person. So hit that big red button already. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Inside linebacker time. This was tricky for me. David Long's making the team. Zach Cunningham's going to make it. Monty Rice, morning in a second, will make it. I went with both Chance Campbell and Dylan Cole, with the purpose being special teams. Hopefully Campbell and Cole can fill roles in that area. Remember, when you get to players, you know, 40 to 53, in most cases, if they aren't helping on special teams or they aren't you know, a clear redshirt guy, they're going to have a tough time making the active 53-man roster. Now, I didn't do any injury pro projection stuff, but I want to monitor Monty Rice. Had the Achilles injury last year. Hasn't been a full go yet at, uh, at minicamp. We'll see if that changes in time for training camp. Keep an eye on Rice's health. If he's not a, a full go for the preseason week one, you might want a veteran to, to add at the linebacker spot. Let's go to corner, where I think I might be a bit bolder than most. Uh, Christian Fulton, Caleb Farley, Elijah Molden, Roger McCreary, guaranteed roster locks. I've seen enough from Chris Jackson that I put him in the safe category. And I went bold with Shaheem Carter, a UDFA last year out of Alabama, as an extra nickel option. Uh, there's a lot of good talent at the nickel corner at, at the cornerback spot. Some names I cut included. You know, uh, Chris Williamson, I cut Buster Screen, I cut Kenneth George, and more. 
but I am excited about this team. And I cut Buster Screen, the veteran, because I am all aboard Caleb Farley Breakout SZN. The first round pick last year barely played because of injury, went healthy, getting back to his time at Virginia Tech. I saw the talent. It is immense. I am fully on board of the Caleb Farley Breakout. If you agree with me, show it by liking the video right now. Pretty straightforward at safety, too. I cut some UDFAs or former UDFAs. Kevin Byard's not going anywhere. Amani Hooker's going to make this team. They paid A.J. Moore enough, and they drafted Theo Jackson. So pretty straightforward for me at the safety position. On now to special teams, and this is also where I went a bit different. I got Ryan Stonehouse, the UDFA, beating out Brett Kern for the punting job. Randy Bullock over Caleb Shudek. Both those spots are up for grabs this year. As long as Shudek's healthy, I'm not sure if that is. Morgan Cox is the only long snapper uh, on the Titans, so that's pretty easy. Before we get to my practice squad projections, I want you to name a player who you want to stash on the practice squad. This could be a, a draft pick, a UDFA, a veteran. You can have those guys in your practice squad now. 16 players. I'm going to break down my list, but I want to hear from you guys first and foremost. As a reminder, it is generally a lot easier to get players onto your practice squad than you might want to admit because, well, maybe your team's not as good as you thought. I got Jordan Wilkins on here, the veteran running back. Snuck Deads Fitzpatrick plus Reggie Ro uh, Roberson, the receiver, UDFA from SMU, and Mason Kinsey as well. Both tight ends, Bradley Moore McKinney. He did, by the way, change his last name. Tommy Hudson, two offensive linemen of a, a deep group that, look, when it comes to practice squad, your guess is as good as mine. They'll even sign guys who weren't on the practice or on the preseason roster, and then everything will be wrong. Christian Delario and Xavier Newman. I got three defensive linemen, Demarcus Walker, plus two UDFAs I almost put on the active roster projections, Haskell Garrett and Jaden Peavy, then David Anini, the edge rusher to add some extra young depth. Linebacker Joe Jones, just because he spent some time on the team last year. Three corners, Buster Screen, Kenneth Jorg, George, and the guy who got cut consistently and then re-signed Greg Maben to round out the 16-man practice squad.